Hey guys, I uh, just wanted to make a quick video talking about the new PTR stuff that came out, most of the tier sets. I'm um, just going through all of them and basically just stating my thoughts and what to look forward to in the future. So just right off the bat, for fire, our tier sets are this, two piece. When Pyro Blast and Flame Strike critically strike, you gain Searing Rage, increasing your crit strike chance or crit strike damage, sorry, by 3% for 12 seconds, so five stacks up to 15%. And then your four pieces, when you press combust, you gain crit strike damage bonus, like the, the you know, the percent, 3%, percent 15 is doubled, basically. Um, what this means, basically, a max stack is going to be like 15% extra crit damage in combust, and then for the four piece, it's 30%. The important thing here to understand is that the, the four piece is specifically activating combust, which does not apply to SKB. However, it does apply to... Time anomalies combust, and obviously the reg the regular combust button. To me, what this seems like, like what Blizzard is trying to do with this is, they're trying to incentivize a build where you end up playing like in Unleashed Inferno, uh, Time Anomaly, and Hyperthermia essentially, which is just the Unleashed Inferno build, because this tier set plays very heavily into that kind of playstyle. Unfortunately, this build right now is like Omega Week. Like it's significantly, significantly weaker than SKB. I'm not gonna give it like an exact number, but let's just say somewhere in the realm of like 25% weaker than SKB. Um, so it's just kind of like it's a tier set that incentivizes a talent build that we can't really play, right? Just because it's too weak. So moving forward, what we should be looking for for fire is either obviously like a, a redesign of the tier set if, if we don't like it, and frankly, I'm not the hugest fan on this one. Um, just because it's kind of boring, like it's just, hey, you guys get extra crit damage and that's it, right? Um, an extra burst and combust. It's not the most interesting, you don't change your gameplay much with it. Um, yeah. Oh, also I should note, I guess also, um, if you dislike four piece, like the, the, the duration is capped at 12 seconds. So if you combust and then you extend the combust with SKBs, the four piece isn't actually extended, right? It's just 12 seconds. Technically that doesn't apply for... Um, Time anomaly combusts, so that one is a bit longer, but this is like super niche. Anyway, yeah, sorry, back to the main point. Uh, yeah, it's just, uh, hopefully we can get a redesign if people complain about it enough and just like, you know, state that it's basically not fun to play with. But the alternative is if they just buff time anomaly, hyperthermia, and UI, Unleashed Inferno. If they buff these three, then this build will be a lot more competitive and frankly, I think a little bit more fun. While obviously, it's not my favorite build, right? I'm definitely an SKB enjoyer. I've always shit on Unleashed Inferno and saying that it's not fun. I will say though, if the if the like the numbers on these were actually more impactful, it would be a lot more enjoyable, right? Right. So example, imagine if the damage percentage was like 70%, and then the combustion cooldown reduction was like two seconds instead of 1.25, um, or even just make it two seconds and then don't touch the damage percent. Make Hyperthermia proc in Combust as well. I think this is a very good change that they should do with this one. I don't know why they like took it off since Field of Burn is extremely weak now. Just let it proc in Combust. And then lastly, for Time Anomaly, increase the duration of the Combust, the Time Warp, both. And maybe even increase the proc chance. Because this talent is extremely weak right now, compared to Double Lust especially. So if they did many, like several of these changes, or all of them, or what, maybe even one of them, the build might be a lot better. Um, and that would be kind of like the saving grace for this tier set like design, you know? So yeah, that's that um, for fire. As for the other specs, I'm going to talk about Arcane next. So for Arcane, the tier set is two-piece consuming clear casting grants extra spell damage, 2% for 15 seconds, stacks up to 10%. So just basically 10% permanent damage, right? You're never going to drop this 15 seconds. So just 10% permanent damage. Um, and then after consuming clear casting six times, your seventh or your next arcane missiles consumes the, the buff that you get and it deals 75% increased damage and fires up to four nearby enemies near your target. So five targets total. So this tier set is very cool for AOE. It just does like a lot of damage when it procs for AOE. But for a single target, it is extremely boring. The two piece is just flat damage that you never interact with. And the four piece is just damage on missiles, which like given our current rotation, you would basically just you know how we like clip missiles? I don't know if we'll still clip in the future, but if we were to still clip, which I would imagine we would, we would just not clip the empowered one, right? Um, and then that's kind of it. 
Like it's kind of very boring for single target. I really dislike this tier. Some people have said stuff like, oh, it incentivizes harmony or whatever. This is like very fake news. Uh, harmony is like, you know, it's stacking speed is based off of the missile hits, not the missile damage. So that doesn't really make sense. Um, and then you can say, oh, but you're going to want to full channel one missile. So if you're playing Harmony, you're probably not going to clip missiles anyway. It does kind of like lean towards these two, the pre-Harmony talent, a little bit more. But I cannot imagine we would grab these over anything else that we currently pick. Mana Gem is pretty powerful. I don't imagine we would drop this. Maybe we could, but I don't imagine so. Prodigious Savant just scales better as we get more mass right, more gear. And then Siphon Storm, I mean, I guess you could technically drop it. But I can't imagine it will for one of these. Um, especially since this point is probably more valuable than this point. But I'm kind of like talking out of my ass a little bit. So two points for this first before we get to this one is kind of weird. I, I'm not I'm not a fan of this. Um, yeah. So this tier set is definitely the one I would actually want changed the most. Even though obviously I'm not a big fan of the fire one. This is the one that I would think that really needs a redesign. Because it's just... It's insanely boring. It's nice for AoE, but it does nothing for a single target. A good change, for example, if they wanted to incentivize Harmony, is to instead make it of doing 75% increased damage, is to just make it tick twice as often. So instead of getting like 8 missile ticks, we'll get 16. That could be a decent change. It could even do that and do the extra hits. Um, or like, for example, if it only hits one target, if there's only one target nearby, it does the double damage so we don't scale on crazy in AoE. Anything like that could incentivize Harmony. Which is something I do kind of like. I do want Harmony to be good again. Um, yeah, that's kind of like my initial idea. But obviously I'm sure there's going to be a lot more changes needed to make Harmony like fun and enjoyable and good to play. But certainly I would imagine redesigning this tier set to play way more into Harmony is, is the goal, right? Um, and I specifically am focusing on this idea of playing into Harmony. Because Blizzard has explicitly stated that they're, this tier set... These tier sets that we are getting right now are designed to incentivize the more off-meta like talent choices that we've not been picking recently. So the examples are for Fire, it's Harmony, Unleashed Inferno, and GS for Frost. I know GS is the meta, and we'll get to that in a bit, but obviously it hasn't been meta up until now. So yeah, that's why. Um, that's why I've been focusing on Harmony. So hopefully we'll get something in that, some kind of change to this Arcane set, because this is very uninspired and not enjoyable. As for Frost, uh, this tier set is the least imaginative but also the strongest tier set so what is a tier set two piece glacial spike damage increased by 10 percent and it explodes when shatters a frozen target dealing 20 percent of its damage dealt to the nearby enemies deals reduced damage beyond eight targets four piece casting glacial spike has a 40 percent chance to trigger brain freeze so some things to note i believe because it says it shatters a frozen target that means it has to be like um it has to be like brain flurried, right? Obviously, uh, which I mean, you would imagine that's the case if it's gonna shatter. But just worth noting that there is an extra requirement. Um, and then, so obviously the second target, even if you like uh, GS flurry is what I'm trying to get. If you GS flurry and there's a second target, even if your main target shatters, your second one won't shatter unless the second target is also frozen and shattering, right? Um, but this is nice because the second one, you know, will still uh, do like 10% more damage, I believe. Uh, and then the four piece casting glitch spike obviously has a 4% chance to trigger brain freeze. That's really nice. It's actually kind of insane. We just get a lot more brain freeze procs. The uninspired part about it is if you compare the old two set or the old piece that we're currently using to the new one, it's literally the exact same effect. Does X% percent more damage, has a chance to explode, or does explode doing AoE damage, and then the four piece has. X spell gives you a brain freeze, X chance to give you a brain freeze. It's the exact same thing. They just change the wording. Which, you know, I will admit, I actually enjoy this tier piece, even though it's boring. Like, it's it's boring because it's the sim very similar to the old one. It feels a lot better than the old one, and it's a lot stronger than the old one. This is a very, very, very powerful setup. I wouldn't mind at all if this was the, like, the, the tier we get at the end of the patch, right? Um, so I, I'm not too fussed about this one. Frost is very, very strong with this tier set. Like... I would expect this to get nerfed. Like between us, you know, obviously this was gonna get nerfed. <laughs> I'm, I'm gonna tell you right now, this is way too strong. I would expect glacial spike chance to proc brain freeze probably gonna get reduced to like 30%, maybe even 25. I think both of those would be fine. Um, it's kind of hard to pinpoint the number exactly, but yeah. Uh, yeah, I mean you're just running the the normal frost setup, right? Nothing crazy. Now 
I'm going to put a disclaimer at the end here. What I'm going to say is this is day one of PTR. And obviously things can change rotationally, although, you know, I've, I've obviously been looking at this for a while now, all day. Um, I don't think it will change that much more from what I've been testing. Uh, but the relative strength of the, the, the specs is not what we should be looking at. We should be looking at, like, design and fun, right? Do not, please do not post on the forums about how weak Fire Mage is or don't post on the forums about how weak Arcane is. That's not what we should be looking at. We should be looking at, is this spec but is this spec fun to play? Is the tier set fun to play? The one thing you could say about power is, does this tier set give too much power relative to the base kit? Because if we're too reliant on the tier, then it might be a bit annoying until we get the tier. That's not a huge deal, but just worth noting. Um, but yeah, so please, if you're going to put feedback in the forums and then focus on the fun aspect, not the power. If a spec is weak, it will get buffed. Relative power of the specs, if you were curious right now, uh, I would say Frost from my very limited testing. Frost is probably looking at around like 15%, 20% ahead of Fire. And then Fire is around, I would say like 10 to 15% ahead of Arcane. Maybe a bit less than what I just said. But yeah. Uh, basically, what I'm trying to get at is power wise, it's. Very clearly, Frost on top, then Fire in the middle, and then Arcane on the bottom. Uh, quite clearly, on single target at least. But, like I said, these things will change. I'm 100% positive they will do tuning passes on these specs, so I'm not too worried about that for now. Maybe in the last week, two, three weeks of the, the, the PTR, we can talk about that a lot more. Um, but yeah, those are my general ideas and, and thoughts about these tier sets. I hope they maybe have made you think that they're better than they are or worse than they are. You know, type on the forums. If you have a good take, feel free to vet the take. <laughs> Post it on my Discord, and then uh, you know I'll give you I'll give you tips about how to improve your feedback on the forums. I'll obviously be posting after a bit as well. Uh, yeah, that's pretty much all I have to say. If you're not in my Discord already, please do join. It is the most wonderful resource uh, like you can find. I would imagine I post a lot, I talk a lot, like a lot. Uh, yeah, from what I've heard, people have enjoyed it the most. So yeah. Thanks for watching and I'll see you in the next video. Peace.